Sing one apple, take one, sing one apple, take one. McMillan? Today at Chet State with Eric Elsa Groff and Bryn McMillan. Hey, I'm Bryn. And I'm Eric. Looking forward to spring break? Yeah, I'm I'm excited to get some much needed sleep. <laughs> Me too. Amazon has opened its first full-size checkout free grocery store in Seattle. Customers just need an app to enter the store. Then it's all grab and go, literally. Rob Munoz reports. Grocery, a grocery store like any other, with items like produce, meats, and beer. Except when you're done, you don't pay a cashier because there aren't any. You simply walk out. Convenience is going to be great. Uh, so it's it's fun to we both work in tech, so it's kind of cool to see. This new location in Capitol Hill is the future of where the Seattle-based tech giant sees grocery stores moving. Its Amazon Grow Grocery is five times larger than its Amazon Go stores, which focus on convenience and simple items. And with the disruptions it's bringing, traditional brick and mortars like Safeway and QFC are put on notice. This Amazon Go grocery store is here in Capitol Hill where you have more of a residential population. It's a larger store, more focused on groceries to take home, um, quick and easy meals to make at home, that sort of thing. Amazon says the items are competitively priced and sourced locally. The way it works is customers will pick out their items individually priced so there's no weighing involved and walk out. Everything you buy is tracked by those sensors there on the ceiling and then charged to your Amazon account, but there is some disagreement on how much data could be handed over to the company. It's going to learn your the patterns of what you get and I'm sure that will lead to some advertising and things like that, but um, I think it's convenient. Amazon would not disclose its expansion plans on these grocery stores this morning, but says it looks forward to seeing this concept take hold. Did you know that the music you hear in parts of this campus is being broadcasted by fellow students? Faith M spoke to students taking radio production in the Media Technology Center about the class. Chattanooga State offers a wide variety of courses to provide students with a complete education. Within the Media Technologies Department, there is one class in particular that stands out. Radio production. If technology is a thing of the future, where does radio fit in? Undying curiosity drove me to hunt down and talk to a few individuals involved with radio production, as well as Chattanooga State's very own station, The Wall. I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm kind of learning. I guess that's what I'm doing. The radio class kind of got me behind the board, got me behind the microphone in the first place. It's like, here's the tools on how to do radio. Now use those to uniquely entertain. Because it's more than just what you talk about. Right, it's how you talk and, and your presentation, um, it's, our, it's your articulation. How to utilize sound, I think, is what I'm taking most away from, from radio production. This is really where you get the chance to play around with audio. And there's a saying, uh, at least in the film, that you know people will sit through some bad footage, but the second they hear really crappy audio, they get up and leave. Basically, I've learned to just be myself unapologetically because that's my character, is being myself unapologetically. People appreciate when you listen or being heard um, more specifically. Being able to connect with someone um, is not something that you usually find. I think it's maybe rare to have somebody who really listens. The audio medium is very much alive and well. The development is, is left to us so perhaps radio is still very much alive. Instead of presuming its death, I should have been focusing on its breadth. Radio has astutely adapted and evolved its form while preserving its creative core, our undeniable emotional and physical connection with sound. I hope you can hear me. Faith Ims, reporting. Chattanooga State IM Rec took students to a Hawks game last week. Tickets for the Atlanta Hawks versus Portland Trailblazers were greatly reduced in price. This was a great family event and spectators got to see Ice Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks beat on the legendary Carmelo Anthony and the Portland Trailblazers 
with a final score of 129 to 117. For more info about IM Rec activities, visit ChatSync. It looks really fun. Well, that's it for today at Chat State. Be sure to watch us online and in the amphitheater. Have a great day.